Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we're gonna to be talking all about astrology and we're gonna be talking mainly about Chiron. So this video is gonna be all about Chiron. So what is Chiron? Chiron is a comet and it is known as the wounded healer. So Chiron in Greek mythology is represented as the centaur and he was a centaur who couldn't heal himself but was healing others, okay? So in Chiron in your birth chart, everyone has Chiron in their birth chart somewhere and it represents what we want to heal in the world and our attempt to heal it. It represents our deepest wounds and our efforts to heal that wound. So today I'm gonna to teach you all about Chiron and Chiron in your chart in particular on what is your karma and what you need to heal in this life. So I'm gonna break it down through each individual star sign. So everyone's gonna have Chiron in one particular star sign. So to find out what yours is, it's super, super easy. It's not too complicated. All you need to do is go to the link down below and go to the Chiron calculator. All you need to do is put in your birthday and your birth time. So if you don't know your birth time, you could just put it as midday or you can try at midnight. Just try and see which one you feel is most accurate. Um, it will have, if you know your birthday, then that's kind of all you need, but it is more accurate if you have your birth time, okay? That I, I will say it will be the most accurate if you know roughly your birth time. Um, and then once you put that in, it will tell you where Chiron is in your chart. Also, if you have a birth chart or if you're able to get a birth chart, I will see if I can find a link to get to a birth chart so you can see what your birth chart looks like. You'll be able to see Chiron on the chart on the wheel and it will be like a key, almost like a circle and then like a key for Chiron, so we're gonna get into it. So all the links will be down below. I'm going to timestamp every single star sign and what it means to have yours in Chiron. Also, it, it will vary depending on which house your Chiron is in as well, but I will put a link down below to a website to show you which house it's in as well, but we're just gonna go with the star signs. So say you could have uh, your Chiron in Sagittarius in the 10th house, and it would be different if you had it in the fourth house, but it will still resonate being in Sagittarius, okay? So to figure out your Chiron, it's a really good way of knowing what you need to heal in this lifetime, what your karma is, what the sort of thing that kind of controls the almost negative aspects of what you need to kind of learn in this lifetime, because obviously we all come into this lifetime with a certain lesson that we need to learn. So this is gonna teach us all about what lesson we need to learn and how to combat it. And once we know it, we can really be aware and have more kind of, uh, have more kind of a learning curve on what we need to learn and how to get to it. So as I say, we're gonna go into all the different star signs, all the different signs. So we're gonna start off with Chiron and Aries. So let's get started. Time starts to be down below. Hello, Aries. So if you have your Chiron in the sign of Aries, Aries is a really kind of confident sign. So if we put Chiron in this sign, it basically means that you're gonna kind of feel the opposite of confident. So it's kind of the negative aspects of Aries where you feel like you have no kind of self-confidence, you feel self-doubt around yourself. And as I say, it depends on where Aries is in the houses in your chart. But for this, this is more about crippling self-doubt, okay? So you may have a kind of tendency to rush into things. You may have a tendency to kind of go forthright without really thinking about it. So it can go one of two ways. You can be a people pleaser or you can be more of a person who is more almost about yourself, kind of really focused on yourself and not really anyone else. So you can be too over the top, possibly a bit of more of a people pleaser and more of a person who kind of focuses on other people rather than yourself. And you do have a hard time kind of focusing on yourself. The other part is that you can be quite self-centered, okay? You can be more self, you're more in yourself, and also kind of thinking about yourself without kind of thinking about anyone else because Aries is the leader, it's also the child of the zodiac. So if you can kind of get into that childlike mode where you're kind of more happy about life, you kind of take things in your stride, that is a better place to be than in the childish mode where you're kind of taking things on and you're using it in a way where you're just stressing it and stretching it to the point where it won't work. And sometimes this can mean that you force relationships as well because you want them to happen really, really quickly. The positive aspects of having Chiron in Aries is that you have a really big gift for helping people and healing people, especially with a higher power. So you may have an identity crisis or an identity struggle. And the best thing for you to do is to kind of step back from it and actually realize that you are yourself. You have everything within you to actually channel all this energy and kind of get where you want to go. 
And the best thing for you to do is not to stretch and stress and be impatient. It's to really step back and be patient and know that things come in their own divine timing. Also, you're going to probably have a very healing gift. So you can actually teach a lot of people. You're probably going to be the sort of person that's a leader that's going to help others to discover what their abilities are. And you're probably going to be the sort of person who is really kind of um, someone who organizes and sorts out people in groups in possibly sorts things out in the home as well you're probably somebody who is the mother of the family the older sister the the nurturer the carer but also if you're the sort of person who is more going out on your own you're the sort of person who probably is going to be like a producer a director um actress or someone who is really into the kind of lead role in whether the family or whether it's in your career so because Aries is really empowering you're going to be a sort of person who empowers others so this is going to be your really big thing that's going to really help you get along in life and if we know our Chiron we can really work on it so now you know your Chiron in Aries you can really focus on putting yourself away from situations where you feel like you have to get either one over on somebody or you feel like you have to control or assert your dominance it's really almost stepping back from that and realizing you have everything within you to kind of go forward and focus on where you want to go okay so that was Chiron in Aries I really hope you enjoyed it guys and if you want to check out where Aries is in your chart I'll try and link all the links down below and you can check out where it is actually in your chart and where it will affect you okay so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon Bye bye. Hello Chiron in Taurus. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started and see what you need to learn. So as I said, Chiron is the wounded healer. So this is going to be something that's going to really affect your chart. And obviously once we kind of learn more about ourselves and we heal, we can come away from this obviously because it's no, it's no longer the wounded healer. It's just the healer. Therefore Chiron has no control over us. But obviously we do have free will and ast astrology only reaches a certain point. So with it being in Taurus, it means you can have quite a strong possession over things. You possibly have a fear of safety. You possibly have a fear of kind of losing things and also have a fear possibly of money. So because Taurus is a fixed sign, you may have a kind of intensity to you and you may have quite an intensity with life. You may devalue life. You may think that it's not really what you want. It's not really as special as you think it should be. And you may have a deep insecurity with your safety and just kind of insecurity with who you are as a person. So you may feel like you need to get security out of external things. So watch out for addictions with money. Watch out for overspending, underspending. So it's either being, as I say, too cautious with money or not spending enough. So it's kind of getting that balance between the two. And also not to assert your dominance too much with money. So you may almost try to control people with money. It may be the opposite. People might might try to control you with money. So it's almost a not taking up their offer, basically. So being really authentic to yourself and being grounded and rooted is going to really, really help you. So grounding meditations is probably going to be really good for you. And also the crystal of black onyx or hematite is going to be really, really good for you as well. And to if you guys have a kind of lack of drive, and can be a sexual drive as well. I highly recommend Red Jasper as a crystal as well. And I also have a crystal shop down below. So if you ever wanna purchase any crystal jewelry to help you with these things, then all of that's linked down below. So the positives of this is your healing journey is to find security within yourself, to find safety within yourself without having the safety of others. It's also learning to have a deeper understanding with yourself and to have a really good balance between the material and the spiritual world. So basically, if you can get out your own way, then creativity is gonna really flow with you. You can also be really good at helping other people with their money. So you could actually be helping people with their business and therefore helping them with their creativity. And this can also help you with your own creativity. Also, your gift is having extreme strength and willpower. So being in the fixed sign, you will stay, you will have staying power. This can also be detrimental because you may stay in things that aren't really good for you because out of just sticking with it and you might get used to things quite quickly or too quickly because you are able to stay for a very, very long time. So making sure that you stay for that length of time that is healthy for you and not just holding on just for the sake of it. But I really hope that helps you guys and now you know your Chiron. Uh, I really hope this helps you and know that you can change it and it's not permanent, you know, astrology is just a guide. So also if you want to check out where your Chiron is in your actual chart, whichever house it's in, this will also affect where Chiron is also. Uh, I'll have the link down below to uh, help you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello Chiron in Gemini. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. 
So this is going to be what uh, Chiron in Gemini means for you. So for you guys, Gemini is the person, it's the entity, it's the, it's the spiritual awareness of communication. So you guys may struggle with communication. Being in Chiron, it's gonna negatively affect whatever star sign it's in. So if you have trouble communicating, if you have trouble kind of getting your words out and you have trouble kind of figuring out what that actually means for you, then your lesson is going to be communication. Also, the tendency to gossip might be your thing as well. So making sure that gossip isn't the forefront of every conversation you have and also to make sure you aren't manipulating people with your words. Also, you may have really deep insecurities with how you see others. So you may look at others and think they're really, really smart. I'm really, really dumb. I'm not, I'm not good. I'm not I'm not smart, I'm not intelligent. So it's looking at those other people and actually reversing it. And this will be your gift. Your, your lesson is to look at other people and think, I do have self-worth, I do have value. And I'm as, value as those, I'm as valuable as those other people as well. And also to just be really, really um, confident with yourself and knowing that your words matter and that you probably will be somebody who will be into blogging, writing, journaling, possibly YouTube as well you might like. YouTube and how words uh, are audible and they're not kind of written down. You might like either or. You might be really into books as well, especially especially chick flick kind of novels, that sort of thing. So with being in Gemini, Geminis can be, uh, have quite an insecurity around their thoughts and believing in themselves and believing that their gifts are enough. So really your lesson will be to kind of know that you are good enough and know that your gifts have value and to add value to other people's lives as well. So you don't know how much effect you're having on other people. So your healing journey will be to embrace your voice. It will be to speak about how you really feel and also have confidence in your voice and knowing that you do have worth to give to others and worth to give to yourself and to know that your creativity is worth it and to also stick to one plan. You may be a little bit flighty, you may go from one thing to another and also to go with the plan that you have. Sometimes you may go from just one plan and then think I'm bored, I'm going on to another one, another one. It's really sticking with the plan that you're passionate about and knowing that if you have that passion, it's something that's important to you and not to bring it down. So with it being Gemini also, you're gonna be really creative. You're gonna have a really rich mind. You're gonna have so much intelligence. It's just knowing where to put it. So creativity is gonna be your best friend. It's gonna be really helpful for you. And also a stone that's gonna be really helpful for you is uh, clear quartz and also hematite. Hematite will ground you, clear quartz will help your mind feel clearer, okay? I also have my crystal uh, crystal jewelry shop down below as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you want any more information about where Chiron is in your chart, it will also really help you to know where the actual house is in as well. That will affect where Chiron is also. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello Chiron in Cancer. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's have a look at Chiron in your chart. So obviously as I said, Chiron will be different depending on which actual house it's in. So I will link that down below as well. And I also mentioned that at the end of the video, just to remind you as well. So Chiron in Cancer. Cancer is one of the emotional signs. So I know being having Moon in Cancer is frigging difficult sometimes. So for you guys, your biggest lesson is going to be dealing with your emotions. It's going to be the need of feeling loved, of feeling worthy. For you guys, you may sabotage relationships. You may feel the need to kind of back off or also emotionally manipulate the person that you're with. Um, this can also affect you in your way of asserting yourself in relationships. You may put that person first and too much. You may put the person first where your needs aren't being met. You may not feel loved. You may not feel wanted by yourself or by others. And therefore, if you don't feel loved by yourself, you try to find that in other people, but then you still don't feel worth it. So you sabotage the relationship. So for you guys, because you have it in Cancer and with the emotional sign, it means that you may lie or cheat to kind of get your way out of things. So it's really important for you guys to have a nut, use your nurturing energy for the good. So you may want to be a nurse. You may be really interested in nursing. You may just be really interested in others and the way they care. And I feel like for you guys, you may have role models who are very caring. I'm thinking of people who are really big, leaders so I feel like leaders who are women mainly I feel because cancer rules women it rules fertility it rules pregnancy so for you guys you may really 
idolize women who are in the limelight, women who have been through a lot of hardships. And I feel like for you guys, you need to kind of assert yourself in a way where you can feel like you're loved, where you can really put yourself forward because you are worth it and knowing that you have that worth and you can really bring that into the relationships that you have. And also knowing that you don't have to have a relationship to feel whole and feeling whole without that relationship before you going into it and having that awareness of your emotions and knowing when that tendency starts to come back and learning to um, really step back from it and know that it isn't it, it isn't always healthy to sabotage relationships. So your strength will come from finding your roots, from thinking about your family, really understanding what feels really good for you. You'll also be somebody who is naturally nurturing. You're gonna be naturally a healer. So you may actually go into Reiki, uh, craniosacral therapy, even maybe Tai Chi or something like that, where you can really assist people in their healing journey. So once you start to realize this, obviously, as I said, Chiron, when we start to realize what are things we, what the things are we need to heal, we're gonna step back from it and we're actually gonna be the healer instead of the wounded healer. So you may think, oh, I used to be like that. That's good because that means that you're working through those things and you're recognizing, oh, I do that and maybe I should kind of flip it on its head and think, actually, what can I do to really improve this? You're also gonna be really sensitive to the suffering of others. So as I say, being a healer, you're gonna recognize when people are in pain, when people are really feeling things. And you're gonna be a sort of person that is like, are you okay, when no one's actually said anything. You're gonna be a sort of person that's gonna recognize people from far away and think they're really healing or they need healing. You're gonna be a sort of person that's gonna recognize how how much love people have because some people can be really down on other humans you know we can really choose to be negative and choose to think I don't like humans they're annoying I don't like them they're really horrible you may get into a negative mindset you may get into a moody mindset you might have a moody tendency to look at other people and think oh they have a much better relationship than me or they have a better friendship than me um, or they, they're prettier than me so your 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 lesson is to look at yourself and think, I'm worthy. I have all of this within me. I am I am worthy enough to have a relationship for myself, to feel comfortable within myself and knowing that all these abilities are really, really good things and that I deserve all of these things. Also, if you wanna check out where your Chiron is in your actual chart, whichever house it's in, this will also affect where Chiron is also. Uh, I'll have the link down below to uh, help you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, Chiron in Leo. So with having Chiron in Leo, you guys might have a fear of being seen. You might have a fear of being noticed and being the, the center of attention. You might want to kind of hide and shy away from that. You might have a tendency to think that people don't see your uniqueness. People don't see how special you are. And you also might have the flip side of that where you are quite self-centered. You are centered more on yourself than focus on other people. And your lesson with this Chiron is to really heal yourself with the with knowing that you are worth it. And also for you guys, you might actually have a tendency to be the center of attention because it actually feels safer. So it can be the opposite way around. So for you guys, you might also, you might also try really hard to get recognition and be the center of attention. So you might do elaborate things or really strange things to get the center of attention with people, especially in groups. So you may be the sort of person who kind of throws themselves into a group where you start being really loud, or you start laughing really loudly, you start trying to make jokes to kind of get your attention on you. You also might see other people and think they're really successful and really think, oh, I wanna be like them, they're, they're really great, I don't really have that. So your lesson is going to be to acknowledge your worth and acknowledge how amazing you are and how much you have to offer and knowing that you're equal to everybody else. So having Chiron in Leo, you're gonna be able to encourage others with their talents and really gonna impact people in a positive way when it comes to helping them with what they're really, really good at. So you might recognize something that somebody's really good at and they might not even notice it in themselves and you might also help them and build a team and create a really beautiful environment so they can flourish and so you can flourish. It might also give you ideas in your creative endeavors as well. So also you're going to be learning what your true talents are and how to express them. And it may be you want to be seen, It may, but it also, maybe that you want to see things from a distance. So those of you, it's gonna resonate differently. But for a lot of you guys, it's gonna be finding your creativity within fun, within childlike nature. With You're gonna find your creativity through fun. So whether that's dancing, whether that's art, whether that's cycling, running, walking, whatever you think is fun, that's gonna really nurture that side of you that's possibly feeling lack. 
So that is your Chiron in Leo. All those things that I've mentioned that are the negative sides, it's basically just flipping them on their head and thinking, I'm gonna change that and kind of flipping it and reversing it, flip and reverse it. So you can recognize that I don't, I have the power to change this, you know? And also if you feel like this is the past you or this doesn't really resonate, then maybe have a look at your chart and see where your Chiron is in the actual house and that will help you to understand what else that it resonates with, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. All the links will be down below for my crystal jewelry, for uh, anything to do with the houses and charts and things like that, all the astrology stuff will be down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, Chiron in Virgo. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. So if you have Chiron in Virgo, you guys are the perfectionists. You may feel like the need to complete things, the need to organize things, and you may feel incomplete with yourself. You may feel like you don't have any worth. You may feel like other people have worth over you. And it's the need to complete yourself that you really need to work on in this lifetime. So for, for those of you when we're talking about mental health, being disorganized and being organized, you may have either or. So you may feel the need to be really disorganized or really organized. You may leave things to the last minute or you may do things like really, really quickly. You may also have obsessive compulsive disorder as well and a need to control and have things a really perfect way. So your lesson in life, your learning is going to be to really pull back from the control. You may also be really highly controlling when it comes to your health and it could be to do with fitness, it could be what you take in into your body, it could be supplements, it can be anything to do with health and being possibly highly obsessive around that as well. You also may have a tendency to have something you need to heal in your body but you actually don't know what it is. You may just feel incomplete like something is missing. So definitely for you guys, it's definitely trying to figure out what that is and taking it slow and not judging yourself. You may have a very high tendency to judge yourself as well and feel like you're not worthy. You may feel the need to step back and be in the, the background of, of things as well. You may also feel incomplete and like something is impure about you, like something is wrong with you. So your gift here is to learn to stop judging yourself is to relax into the everyday and know that you do have the power to do this. So your gift is gonna be a problem solver. You're gonna be really good at problem solving. You're gonna be really good at noticing things that are kind of a bit off. So you may be a photo editor, you may be a life coach, you may be a home decorator person. <laughs> I can't think of the word right now. Interior decorator. You might be somebody who decorates things for a living. You might be really highly creative as well. You might have so many talents that you actually don't know what to do with them. You may also have a lot of talents that you haven't actually discovered yet and you might discover them later on in life. So also it's to stop judging yourself and judging others. You may be highly judgmental. You may judge others to be a standard that you think they need to be. And actually no one is a certain standard. It's just how we perceive them. It's our own opinion. So when somebody has their standards, that's just their opinion and what they've learned. Your less is gonna be more observant and less critical of others and less controlling. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you feel like this isn't really you, or this is kind of something that you used to be, then that's really good. That means that you've learned the lesson that you need to learn and you're conscious of it. You know, the more conscious we are of our astrology, it can be really helpful in our lives. Thank you so much for watching guys. And if you would like to check out my crystal jewelry, my uh, crystal jewelry, my crystal shop, my jewelry shop, uh, all the links are down below. And also if you wanna check out where Chiron is in your birth chart in the actual house, then I'll link that down below also. Thank you so much, Chiron and Virgo, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello Chiron in Libra. So this is the tea. <laughs> Chiron in Libra is a tough one. Chiron in Libra is all about relationships. So you guys will probably feel very incomplete without a relationship. You may feel very alone and the need to kind of avoid conflict. You may not speak about how you really feel out of, out of feeling like you need to make everything balanced. Conflict is probably your worst enemy. You probably hate conflict. You're probably the sort of person that kind of backs off when people start to kind of come at you. Um, so your lesson is gonna to be to really learn how to be okay with being alone. And also it doesn't mean you're not gonna get a relationship. When you do, it means you're gonna have a balanced relationship. You're, you're gonna find yourself as your own soulmate. And that means that you're gonna feel complete when you find that relationship. So you may have had a lot of difficulties with friendships, with any other type of person, whether it be whatever relationship. So it can be friends, it can be coworkers, it can be relationships, romantic relationships. You could have had a lot of problems with those relationships. And you may have a tendency to rush into relationships because you just want someone, because you just want someone because you feel 
incomplete because you feel alone because you feel like you don't have what it takes to be alone without somebody there. So you might also hide behind a mask when you're with people just so you can fit in. And then when you're alone, you're a completely different person. So your lesson is going to be to be your own freaking soulmate, okay? It's to love yourself, to know yourself at every single level and to take that time and to know that you don't have to rush relationships. This might be a self-sabotaging thing as well when you rush relationships because you feel like you need to make up for lost time where you've been single. Um, for those of you who haven't really noticed this, especially as you get older, it can get worse because you haven't resolved all those issues. And it's definitely a self-worth thing. It's definitely feeling like you are worthy of love and worthy of being those things. And knowing that when you were born, you are perfect just the way you are, you know, and to really embrace those things and to know that this is going to help you. Uh, when you realize it, you're like, oh my God, wow, I didn't notice that I did these things, you know, and you may have a time where you are single for quite a long time, but actually that time's going to be so good for you because you're going to realize what it is you need to work on within yourself. So you may also have a strong need for beauty and harmony, meaning that you are probably very creative and also into beauty. So you may be into the beauty industry, you may be into creativity, you may be an extremely creative person. So this is gonna be a really good time for you to express your creativity in whatever you feel is necessary. So a big lesson for you guys is to stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself in relationships and not to manipulate the other person or feel the need to kind of mirror that person so you can be like them so they can almost like you more. Also not flaunting yourself, possibly flaunting your body. Obviously that is totally fine if that's what you wanna do no hate but if you feel like you're doing it so you can get something out of somebody then if you feel like this is a negative trait then maybe it's kind of knowing that your worth is, is within you and also outwardly as well it's nothing wrong with expressing your body but it's just being aware that making sure that you know your self-worth and knowing that that is a really important part of you and to recognize that you have everything within you and you don't have to look perfect all the time. You don't have to look a certain way to attract a certain person. It's just knowing your worth and knowing that you have everything to be yourself and know that, some, that people will love you for who you are. So you'll probably recognize the element of projection in relationships. So you may project a relationship and have a have a relationship that projects back to you what you feel like you are missing and what you feel like you aren't actually recognizing within yourself okay so it can be somebody you may have been in a relationship where they were very domineering where they were very dominant and they were really nasty they could have been very manipulative and your lesson would be to stand up for yourself to know when that's wrong and to step away from it and to know that that isn't the sort of person that you want to be around and to know that that isn't okay that isn't okay and your lesson is to as i say be your own soulmate so thank you so much for watching guys if you want to check out my jewelry shop uh it'll be linked down below i will also be putting some links down below for where your house is where the current is in your particular house in your chart um, that'll give you some extra information as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello Chiron in Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm going to speak about how Chiron in Scorpio really affects you in your life. So with this placement, it's going to mean that you're probably quite a defensive person. So these may or may not resonate with you, so just take it as it resonates. It's going to resonate different with everybody. So with this tendency, Scorpio is a very intense sign. It's a very manipulative sign. It can be very manipulative. Uh, I'm a Scorpio sun, so I know. <laughs> and it's a, it's a sort of element that kind of creates a lot of boundaries. So you may be the sort of person that builds up a lot of walls. You may have the tendency to run away from things, to not tell people how you really feel out of feeling scared. So your lesson is going to be to learn how to express yourself, to really understand yourself in a way where you can feel safe. Safety is gonna be a really big thing for you guys. So you may have a really big fear of loss or fear of death as well. You may also have quite a strong interest in death, but it actually might really freak you out and scare you. Some of you guys, it could be really interesting for those, for others of you, it could be really, really scary. And you could have fear of loss of losing others. You could have a fear of losing family through death. And also you may have quite intense dips in your moods where you feel quite disconnected and possibly a little bit depressed. So depression is going to be something that you may have to deal with, but it's just knowing that actually looking at those lighter sides of life and trying to 
bring space in between that you and the depression and having that space and knowing that it's okay and supporting yourself and knowing, and knowing what your needs are. So along with manipulation, you may have an element of jealousy and protectiveness. Scorpios are extremely protective. They are very, very loyal, not to big myself up or anything, but we are. And you may feel like the need to protect things and protect items, objects, people, um, your emotions, you may have a hard time actually expressing your emotions and it's all about feeling safe. It's all about feeling safe within yourself. So your Chiron lesson is going to be to acknowledge loss, to accept loss as a part of life and knowing that things can get lost and to acknowledge that and to accept that. So your gift is gonna be the power of trust. So a lot of people are gonna be really trusting with you. They're gonna trust you on a level that a lot of the people won't. You're the sort of person they'll come to you and they'll be like, I don't know why I wanted to tell you everything about my life, but I really felt the need to. So they're gonna be, you're gonna attract people who are possibly very deep and you're gonna wanna have probably deep, very like rather deep relationships. And you're gonna be a sort of person that has a very strong attachment to spirit. So you may be a very spiritual person. You may be the sort of person who is into tarot, who is really kind of fascinated by the darker sides of life. So if you feel like you, you're in a very deep, dark place sometimes, it's really acknowledging that and actually using that for your advantage, really recognizing that there is, a, there is another part of life, there is that spirit world, and to really connect with it, whether it's through meditation, whether it's through oracle cards, whether it's through um, shamanic work, it's kind of all that sort of stuff. And for you guys, I feel like the crystal of hematite's really good for you guys when you start to overthink. But you also need a lighter crystal to kind of lighten your mood. So citrine is probably going to be a very, very good crystal for you and also clear quartz. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you'd like to check out my crystal jewelry shop, I do custom bracelets. So if you'd like a bracelet with the crystal that I recommended, then please feel free to check out down below. And also uh, I have a link to where your where Chiron is in your chart, in your house. So if you can find out where your where Chiron is in your actual house in your chart, then that will give you some more information on your Chiron sign. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello Chiron in Sagittarius. So for you guys, I'm gonna be telling you how Chiron really affects your life. And if it doesn't resonate, then that's just sometimes how it is. But also if you feel like this is your old self, then that means that you've really healed yourself. So well done you. <laughs> so this is also gonna help you in knowing kind of what you need to heal, what your lesson is gonna be in life. So for Chiron in Sagittarius, you may have a very big fear of open spaces. So open spaces may be a really big fear for you. It may be something that really freaks you out. So concerts, uh, shopping malls, that sort of thing, a place where there's gonna be a lot of people. You also may have a tendency to look at life in quite a negative way and feeling like you haven't really got enough out of life. You may have wanderlust and want to travel. Want, you may have travel as your job. You may want to travel in quite large groups as well. You may feel the need to be either be in a group or be out of a group. So you may also rely on others too much for advice and you may need to learn to just focus on yourself and knowing that that is good enough and knowing that your va values and your views are good enough and they're gonna really, really support you just focusing on yourself. You may also have an avoidance of change or adventure and you may feel scared about doing new things. So for you guys, it's gonna be learning to really open yourself up to that and open yourself up to travel. Some of you guys, you could have massive wanderlust. For others of you, you may not actually want to travel. You may have kind of like an inkling of it and maybe as you get older, you may feel like you want to travel more. But maybe when you're a bit younger, it may be quite over, it, might be, it may be quite daunting, especially the fear of open spaces. You're going to be like, I'm not sure if I can do this. You know, I'm not sure if I'm up to this task, but you definitely can do it. And it's really knowing that you have that self-worth in you and that's going to really help. Self-worth is number one. <laughs> so your, uh, your challenge and the way you're going to overcome it is to see things in a way where it's seeing life as a great adventure, seeing it as something that you can really appreciate and it's pushing past your boundaries so you guys could have quite bad anxiety you could have quite a a thing where you have anxiety around open spaces and really going out of your comfort zone so your comfort zone is going to be very much stretched in this lifetime so it's going to have you're going to have to understand your safety and what makes you feel safe within feeling these things and knowing what feels good for you and having that positivity towards life as well. So I feel like crystals for you guys is going to be black onyx because you may feel kind of 
you may take in a lot of other people's energies quite drastically so black onyx is going to be a really good crystal for you guys and also clear quartz is going to be really good it's going to help you to feel clearer within your head and to just give you that little bit of boost and healing towards your journey okay so that is your uh, Chiron in Sagittarius I really hope you enjoyed it if you want to know where Chiron is actually in your birth chart in a certain house that will also help you understand Chiron a little bit better uh, all the links will be down below and also if you want to check out my jewelry shop or any of my crystals then all my links will be down below for that shop this is coming soon so I'm really excited and I hope you guys have a lovely day bye hello Chiron in Capricorn thank you so much for being here so for you guys you might feel like you're unnoticed unworthy you may have quite an unorganized life you may like feel like things are not very structured you may feel the need you may feel have a deep need for a structure a structure is going to really really help you within this life so you may have two sides to yourself so if some of you guys you may want to push yourself away from others for those of you you might actually push yourself on others to feel seen and wanted so it's kind of making sure that in your relationships with anybody romantic family friends is to make sure that you have an equal balance of give and take where you're not kind of pushing your views on them to make them feel a certain way and just accepting them as they are and accepting yourself as you are you may also only trust what you can see hear taste smell that sort of thing so you're the sort of person who's quite tactile you will believe things when you see it so you guys will have a lesson where you will be more have your connection to spirit may be a little bit slower than others so you may have quite a slow start to connection with spirit you may have you may discover spirituality later on in life um, but you will have a kind of tendency to want to look into it but you might not have the deep need for it until later on in life so you may feel the need to control everything in your life as well and you may have trouble kind of handing control over to other people because you may feel like they can't kind of handle that situation so it's really learning to let people other people control as well let other people take the reins and you may feel like you want to be a leader but for some of you you may actually want to kind of escape um so you kind of have to balance those two out and learning that other people can be in control as well and it's okay to trust and to know that people will have your back as well so if you guys are quite similar to virgo you guys kind of push in terms of organization you guys are really good with control you're really good at getting things organized so organization is going to be really good for you guys you're going to be a really really good leader and somebody who can easily be in control but in a very calm way and quite fair so fairness is going to be a really good thing for you guys and your healing will come from accepting and helping others knowing that everyone has a different trait and you can't always control you can't always control them and you can't always control what their reaction is going to be so it's just learning to recognize recognize that and to know that everyone's different in their own way and to have that balance between you have your views and I have my views and you may have a deep intensity for yourself you may be quite creative you may be somebody who's almost like a businesswoman someone who is very much into money and gaining money uh, so yes yeah, so that is Chiron in Capricorn for you guys if you want to check out where Chiron is in your chart it will be in a certain house so whatever house that's in that will also affect uh, where Chiron is in your chart uh, if you want to check out my jewelry shop it's down below i am actually wearing all the jewelry that i have on my shop the earrings this necklace is going to be coming soon as well so thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you soon bye hello chiron in aquarius so let's see what your lesson is so for chiron in aquarius you guys may struggle kind of fitting in you may have trouble figuring out what your life purpose is and the need for controlling in relationships you may have a strong contact with spirit and higher consciousness so you may be the sort of person who wants to be a counselor you want to be a life coach possibly you may be really into psychology and crime shows as well and kind of figuring out how that all works and how everyone interacts with each other so you may also feel very different from everyone else you may be friendly but also quite distant in relationships so it's learning to be comfortable in relationships and learning to be able to get close with people and to not judge them and to know that you don't have to have structure to have control because we don't have control over our entire lives it's really understanding that everyone is different and 
to understand that that's okay. So you may also feel alone when you're in a crowd, but also when you get home, you wanna seek solitude and you want to kind of be alone. And that's where you kind of refuel, re refuel yourself. So your healing journey involves connection. It involves being around people who are on your wavelength. So also your gift is gonna to be to spend time alone with the universe. So you're gonna be really good at connecting with spirit. Aquariuses are very, very spiritual. So you're gonna be a sort of person who is very highly connected. You're gonna be somebody who is very highly spiritual and you're gonna to wanna to connect with others where you feel like you're worthy. And you're gonna be able to find your group of people that you feel very connected to. And not to be picky about those people as well and not to pick at, at what those people are and aren't good at, is to just accept people as they are and to also find your own belonging. You may be very connected to spirituality in a way where you can actually connect to spirit where other people might not be able to. You may also be a tarot reader and helping people with their needs in terms of spirituality. You may help other, other people with their path and helping them try and like try and find and to get where they wanna go. So I'm gonna highly recommend you a crystal of Desert Rose and Opalite. I really feel like these crystals are gonna really help you to kind of find where you need to go. And I feel like pink opal will be really good for you as well. If you wanna check out my crystal jewelry shop, all the information will be down below. Please subscribe and like if you like this video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, Chiron in Pisces. So let's see what your lesson is. So for Chiron in Pisces, you may have a deep fear of trusting people. You might have trouble trusting people and understanding where they're at. You may have quite a fear of spirit, uh, but also have a deep, understanding for it so part of you when you heal this you actually want to get more into spirituality and want to understand the higher realms and things that are that we're unable to see with our naked eye so because you're going to be you probably have a fear of opening up because you're very sensitive you're probably going to be somebody who is very empathic you're able to recognize people's sensitivities and you're able to recognize what people need to heal within your set themselves so you're probably going to be a healer or want to be a healer of some sort so in this lifetime you also may feel the need to help others and kind of protect the underdog in relationships so you may attract people who need healing therefore being that empath being that healer and you may go towards people who really aren't on your wavelength, but they have healing and you feel the need to kind of heal them. You may be very non-judgmental. I feel like you guys are very accepting of others, very accepting of people when they have problems. And you're the sort of person that wants to be there for them when they're in need. So I feel like for you guys, your lesson is going to be learning to open up and learning to trust people. And this is going to be quite a difficult one for you guys if you're really not aware of it, because you're gonna have a few relationships where you're gonna feel a little bit distant. So it's learning to kind of open up and learning to feel safe within yourself is gonna be a really, really big thing for you guys. Meditation is gonna really help you because you're gonna be able to kind of get more on a calmer wavelength and you're able to stress out less about what other people think about you. So as you get older, as time kind of goes on, you may start to see that this is kind of all part of a divine plan. You're probably very romantic and the sort of person that wants to create oneness, that wants to create a sort of place where everyone is equal. So you're probably gonna be a sort of person that also confronts unfairness and wants to create balance within your life. So there may be times where you felt like this is unjust, this is not fair, why is this happening to me? And as, the, as time goes on, you're gonna kind of realize that actually it was all part of a plan, it was all meant to happen. And you may not have learned those things that you didn't learn without kind of confronting those things as well. And also learning not to rebel, learning not to kind of get away from society when you feel like there is a need to help um, out of fear of getting hurt or out of fear of being confronted. So really learning to um, adjust to how you feel in that moment. A really big element is to feel safe within yourself as well and just to kind of ride the waves and to be in the moment a lot of the time. Meditation is gonna be really helpful for you guys. I'm also gonna recommend you um, Larimar and also Blue Lace Agate. I feel like those crystals are gonna be really good for you. Also, if you want to get these in a bracelet form, then I will have my shop link down below. So thank you so much for watching this. And if you would like to check out where Chiron is in, actually in your chart in the actual house, that will help you also figure out where Chiron is. It will give you some idea on what it's about. Uh, all those links will be down below with my uh, jewelry shop. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please do I really, really, Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.